Yes, I yeah. Oh. I make music. I make music. I'm doing a song a day challenge. I'm doing a song a day challenge where the goal is to drop a song a day until the end of the year. I drop seven songs every Friday. Every Friday, seven songs. Link in description. Link in description if you want to hear my music. Link in description for your music. Link in description if you want to hear my music. Um, I just saw this video. This Japanese man. I think his name is Toro or something. Toro. I don't know. And... He became a dog. He didn't actually become a dog, but he believes he's become a dog. And he had this dog costume made for him. Um, I forgot the breed of the dog, but these dogs naturally are very big. Like, they're very huge dogs. So for him, he was like, that makes the most sense. So he got a costume made for him so that he could be in it and, like, walk around as if he was an actual dog. So... He, there was a film crew filming him walking around his neighborhood in the dog costume. And you know what? It's very convincing because now if you just see him in passing, like just at a glance, you'd think that's an actual dog. Now, if you went close and looked, and it's, it'd be like something very strange. Is that is that a person? Now you'd think maybe it's some sort of you see a film crew maybe it's like some sort of joke they're filming some sort of funny thing like in your mind you'd be like okay there's clearly some comedic thing going on here like you know but that would be naive because if you live in the modern world and you're aware of what's going on around us you'd quickly realize oh oh he's being serious oh this is this is real he actually thinks he's a dog and the thing that bothers me about that video, just Google Japanese man becomes dog, it'll pop up. Google on YouTube right now. I'm sure you say, whoa, whoa, finish watching my video and then search it on YouTube afterwards. Don't don't leave. But um, it, it angers me because these people that are filming him, like there's a film crew following this guy around, like a bunch of people following this guy and, and also like regular people walking past you'd be waving at them people are just laughing and being like haha this is great this is crazy i'm like this man is clearly sick he needs help he needs help and you people are like laughing at him egging him on saying yeah man be you be yourself yada 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 ah. This, this is the issue with lying to people constantly lying unwilling to like unwilling to tell people the truth not because and we need to stop being honest guys people go along with this stuff not because they're so kind and compassionate but because they don't like how it makes them it doesn't how it makes them feel when they're being honest you don't want to feel like you've hurt someone. Oh no, I told the truth and now this person is crying and they're sad and yada yada yada. I don't like how that makes me feel. It's all about you at the end of the day. It's not about the other person. Because if you cared about the other person, you'd be like, you can't do that. That's not going to end well. I don't want to see you get hurt. Stop doing that. It doesn't matter how, how much they want that thing. Because you understand that it's bad, you're not going to encourage them. You know, they have agency. They'll do what they want at the end of the day. But you're not going to side with them on that. You don't want them to think you support them in that regard. And that's the issue with all this identity stuff. They're telling people that things that are fundamentally impossible are actually possible. And the issue with that is when they actually try something that's impossible, they're risking hurting themselves. 
if I tell someone you're on a building, if you jump, you're going to fly. Like someone believes they're Superman and that if they jump, they're going to fly. I say, go ahead, jump. What kind of person would I be if I did that? Likewise, if a, if a young boy is like, I want to chop off my penis so that I can get a vagina and become a girl. You can't, you can't become a girl though. Like that's impossible. It's impossible. First of all, there's this paradox that exists, right? Because the feminists say that there's no difference between men and women. There's zero difference. There's, there's no difference. Logically, if there's no difference between men and women, men and women are the same thing. If, there's a, if I have two bottles, right? No, actually, this is a better example. If I have this book and I have this book, and I tell you that these books are the same book. There's no difference. Did that mean so this like like guys, that means if if I ask you to pick which book you want to read, it doesn't matter which one you pick. They're the same. You might be like, okay, I want to pick this one because I like the cover. I just like how it looks. Now, that makes sense because these are books. People do that in real life. They buy books according to the the cover. Like they'll buy like this version of this this edition of this novel that came out twenty years ago. Because they like how this edition looks. Versus the original edition, which might look like this. This is the original edition, this is the new edition. It makes sense in the context of books. The issue when you start applying that logic to to human beings is that I thought the feminists said women shouldn't be reduced to their bodies. I thought that was the original argument. Women are more than their breasts and their vaginas and this and that and da 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 da. Now you're literally saying that that's all that they are is their breasts and vaginas. That's the only thing that makes a woman a woman. Everything else is is negligible. It doesn't matter. But we know that's not true. We know that there's something innate in 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 women that makes them women that can never be replicated by science. Like, as human beings, we can never just copy-paste and chop someone up and, voila, you're a woman now. Like, that doesn't exist. And some people might argue, well, that's the whole argument we're making, that um, you're born in the wrong body. Like, 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 spiritually something went wrong, and you just want to become the thing that you always were. Um, and the issue with that now is what else does that apply to? Because if you feel like a woman and therefore you want to get surgery and become a woman, why cannot, like, if you you go and watch that video after this, after this, why can't that man that wants to become a dog actually become a dog? Because I'm sure anyone that's sane, that thinks can agree that you can't actually be a dog. It doesn't matter how you feel inside. Because people are actually supporting this. Place. Like online, it's, it's sparked this, this discussion. I'm actually shocked that it's even a discussion. I'm actually shocked that people are actually debating this. But people are actually debating this thing about self-expression and allowing someone to pursue their passions and, and just be who they truly are and yada, 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 yada. yada. What, what nonsense. What malarkey? What are you doing right now? He's not a dog. It's impossible to be a dog. <laughs> Fam. I am a human being who is male, who is black, who... The, like, like, like those three things I've just listed, I can't change that. That's... That's how I was born. Like, why is that? Why? Why is that so hard for people to understand? I, there's nothing I can do about that. It's done. It's sealed. It's signed. It's over. There's no amount of science that can ever change that. Science. This is, this is just foolishness. It's human arrogance. Thinking you can rewrite the rules of, 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 of actual science. 
the laws of reality. Like, like my question is, what happens for a man? Because the people that are egging him on, the people that are saying, yeah, do you express yourself, ha, 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 have a great time. What happens when science catches up and this guy can get surgeries that further affirm his delusion? What happens when he can get fur, like f- permanently implanted onto him and he can get a tail and they can alter his, his vocal cords and so he can bark and they can somehow reconstruct him so he can uh, like adopt that form and he can walk on all. What happens when that's possible? Because I'm telling you, a few, a few like a, a decade or so ago, not too long ago, if you told the, a regular person that science eventually is going to get to a point where you can make a man look like a woman so convincingly that regular people won't even be able to tell that he was once a man. If you told people that's going to be possible, people would be like, that's impossible. But like, how is that even? We didn't conceive that not too long ago. I didn't think it would be possible. When I was in like primary school, even parts of high school, I was like, that will never happen. In my mind, I was like, when I was, when I was, when this transgender stuff was, was, was picking up, when it became like mainstream, like, in my mind, I was like, okay, but we'll, we can at least tell that this is a man that wanting to be a woman. It's slow. That's that that thing is slowly going away. Where it's like. Now it's getting harder and harder to tell as science becomes more sophisticated. It's it's not science. It's technology. Like, like, it's science, but it's being applied for, 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 like, the most fucked up shit that defies other notions. That, like, it's just, oh, my God, it's just, it's a mess. It's not notions. It defies other laws. Um, so, it's like, like, I'm just thinking, it's going to get to a point where this guy, this, this man in the dog costume, he's going to have access to some sort of surgery that, that, that pushes him further down this dark path, dude. And there are going to be a lot of people that see that and think, oh, I, I'm, I finally feel seen. Oh my God, I want to do that too. This, this is a community of people. Like, there are a lot of people like that. They're, they are rightfully embarrassed to come out as that and be like, I'm, I'm actually a wolf. I'm actually this. I'm, actually, I'm, I'm a penguin. Yada, 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 yada. We should stigmatize this stuff. It's wrong. And also, maybe, maybe get to a point where we can encourage people to seek help. Maybe that's a better way of putting it. Where it's like, if you feel like you're anything other than what you were born as, you should seek help. And people should, we should be compassionate, but that passion, compassion needs to be applied appropriately. Com- it, it, compassion doesn't mean allowing them to get the surgeries and, and, and fuck themselves up and, 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 and all this weird nonsense. That's not compassion. That's not compassion at all. That's wrong. Um, I'm actually enjoying tapping on that. Like, we should encourage people to seek help. Like, like listen, family. What you're saying does not make sense. I think you need to speak to someone who might have ex- uh, experience in this realm, and they can they can give you proper counsel that will help you. Because this what you're saying is not making sense and is concerning me. Because that's the thing about lying, fam. When you lie to these people. To, for, for your own good, for your own sake, because you don't want to step on anyone's toes or hurt anyone's feelings. Lies have a tendency to compound, to spread 
until everything collapses under their weight. Life starts off small and then they snowball and then you end up with a man in a dog costume because you've been telling people all along that whatever they feel inside, that's what they are. That is a lie. It's not true. And we know it's not true. Everyone deep down knows there's something weird about all this stuff we're seeing. Everyone, I feel like everyone knows this, but they lie. They continue to lie because it feels more comfortable to lie than to tell the truth. But you always pay the price for a lie down the line. Always. Lies have a way of coming back to bite you in your ass. In your lying ass. They just do. There's no way around it. People need to stop lying. That man is not well. There's something wrong with him. He needs help. He needs serious, serious, serious help. Instead, people are following him around with the camera. Ha oh, oh, this is crazy. Content, content. People are so like, and they'll call it compassion. We're just being compassionate. These people genuinely think they're being compassionate. That they're cool and inclusive. And that's how they define com- compassion. And it shows you that these virtues, these things that used to be, have been warped and twisted and redefined in secular, in, 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 these, in this secular ideology. This is what happens when you distance from 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 the true source of knowledge and 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 and, and morality, which is God. You end up with people redefining these things for themselves. Compassion is no longer uh, applying care and consideration for towards someone for their ultimate good. For the ultimate good, it's it's like gratifying someone's feelings in the moment. That's what compassion is, apparently. It's that's not what it is, though. Like, if you have a family member that's a drug addict, they're addicted to drugs, and they can't help it, they're just, and they're begging for money so they can feed their addiction, is it compassionate to give them the money because in the moment it's going to make them feel good? Or is it actually compassionate to place them in a rehabilitation center where they might not like it there, but over time, if they, if also they play their own part in that as well? Though my camera's lagging. Anyway. If they play their part, they, they will eventually recover and become whole again. That's compassion. It's not easy. You might feel bad seeing them kick and scream. No, I don't want to go. No. Ah, ah. But over time, they will come to appreciate you because you didn't give in to them they, they weren't in the right they weren't in the right mind you didn't give in and, and 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 give them what they want and ultimately enable their destruction it's cowardly you have to have a spine and be like no this is not right you can't become a woman you can't become a dog drugs like i'm not gonna give you money for your drugs i'm not gonna do this i'm not gonna do that like a parent that refuses like to give like the seven year old a smartphone for example because all the other seven year olds have smartphones knowing what we know about these smartphones and social media and how they impact children of course as a parent you should be like no play outside go see your actual real friends in real life and and hang out with them Let's do things together. I'll take you to, to, to uh, a, a theme park or something. We'll have fun that way. That's what compassion looks like. It's not giving something, someone what they want all the time, whenever they want it, however they want it. That's not compassion. <sighs> but again, when people redefine these eternal principles on their own human, a.k.a. just idiotic terms... This is what you end up with. A society that's falling apart. A man in a dog costume being followed around by people with cameras telling him that what he's doing is okay. Like, oh, fuck, man. Does he have kids? Does he have a family? Imagine if this is a man with a family. There was a guy. There was, there was a case of a man, a 50-something-year-old man, wife and, like, six kids or something, decided he's a six-year-old girl out of the blue. Obviously not out of the blue. He's, he'd been feeling that way for a long time, but he... 
he, because of the cult, current culture right now, he felt emboldened to come out as a six-year-old girl. He got adopted by this elder, this other couple. So now he's the six-year-old child. He's a grown man in his 50s. And they, they put him in the little girl. Uh, they, they gave him a tutu and a, the, the, the weird top. And he has a, he has a dummy and he sucks on his dummy. And he speaks like a child. It's disgusting. It's, it's so... Like, you can actually search that. Uh, he's a Canadian man. Say Toronto man becomes six-year-old girl. You'll see his story. It's, it's gross. This is a man with a wife and children. He left them to pursue his strange desires. Disgusting desires. But our society says that's okay because compassion... Compassion, man. Be compassionate. No, no, no. That's not what it means to be compassionate. That's not compassion, damn it. But again, people redefine everything on their own stupid terms. These things were laid out for us. You don't get to redefine it. You have no capacity to do that. You're not capable of doing that. Human beings are dumb. We have no rights. Our goal in this universe is to observe it, understand it, and then find our place in it and behave accordingly. Not to fucking manipulate or at least try to manipulate things so that we can uh, position ourselves how we want to be positioned within it. It's absurd. It's absurd and it's wrong. Anyway, I've rambled for how long? 22 minutes. Let me know if you made it to the end of this extensive ramble. Let me know your thoughts. I'm not folding on this one, guys. This one, I, I don't care what anyone says. This is ridiculous. Every every day, something just confirms what I've been saying all along. But sometimes I think, am I? No, I actually don't think I'm tripping. But sometimes I do feel bad. But the, every day I just see something. Like the, the this thing with the dog or the man who identifies as a six-year-old girl. I just see more and more things like this that make me think, ah, I shouldn't fucking apologize for, for saying what I'm saying. This is absurd. And if people keep going along with it, it's going to get crazier and crazier. Anyway. Um, thanks for watching. I like to pray at the end of all my videos just to impart blessing and protection and peace and all that stuff. I know we need it. I know we need it. Dear Father God, thank you for this individual watching this right now. Thank you for blessing them, making them whole, making them unique. Um, thank you that you're guiding them on a, on a good path. A path that leads to peace and fulfillment, true peace and fulfillment provided by you, Lord. Thank you that they have good people in their life, people that are honest with them, people that care for them people that are helping them become the best version of themselves, Lord. Thank you that this person is imbued with so much potential that um, they're on an adventure that, that will make them so happy that they wake up every day looking forward to their day, looking forward to the people they're going to see and interact with. Um, so good health, long life, and happiness over this person, Lord. Over their friends, over their family. In my name I pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thanks for watching.